watch now. Uh, for local, F says for family. I mean this bitch like Tamily. I don't know who that bitch really be. Oh, go God ahead. damn, episode 24. You know we open the doors. You know we up in his hall. We know we up in your hall. You know how we doing, dog. We too I don't hard. Want it. I don't want it. Oh, we don't want hard. it. But I'm gonna do it. We just here, can't hear, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh my god, I didn't have this shit at all prepared. <laughs> but I'm on this bitch, I'm yelling, woo, like I'm Ric Flair. Hold up. Here we go. It's okay, bro, chill. It's not that serious. Something about drinking a challenge just takes a whole lot better. <laughs> but honestly, though, look at us and look at y'all. Yo, welcome back to Stan Leone Boys. It's your boy Griffin. Que lo que es, your boy que es el vin. Tamo na casa, hijo de puta. Hello, my name is Adon. Of course, Breaking Bazo is back here, never leaving again. And Dominican's own, open up his own barbershop here. Back with the first time with Griffin here. And then bro. the beautiful Angelica also. The man himself, Mr. Jordy, bro. Round of applause for my brother here. You calling about her thank formal? You, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've known her all my life. I've always <laughs> called her Angelica. Course. That's just what I always say. So, um, how are you guys feeling? Open oh, new bar, by the way, crisp haircut. Who did that, brother? Oh, that's my boy JJ. You already know. Get at him, JJ dot the barber on Instagram. Don't Jeez. that's don't miss out on these fresh, fresh cuts. That's dull with a DA. Um, yeah, dull with the DA. Let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, oh, we're taking a shot of water, guys. Shot of water, 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 Salute. water, 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 water. Did. Yo, did Kelvin, did Kelvin boy, dump out his shot of tequila? <laughs> no, I know, and I just drank half of it because I'm a real man. All right, yeah, got it. This is so stupid. Ah, uh, that was actually a lot better than I thought it was. Uh, always terrible. You guys, oh, that wasn't bad at all, dude. Yeah, uh, that, was actually, that was actually a really good shot of tequila. So, what kind of tequila was that again? Oh, uh, Pedro Morales. <laughs> no, I, I might start buying that and become alcoholic. Thank you, Stanley Only Boys. Uh, <laughs> Blame it, up, blame it on us. I mean, I have to blame it on somebody. I'm definitely not going to blame it on my alcohol, alcoholic stepdad. <laughs> so, uh, Jordy, bad. So, cutting hair, right? And you, you see, when we had you, you on, you were um, at a Dominican barbershop, right? Yes, uh, I was working at Oliver's. I actually worked there for Which the better like, part what, of... Two years ago or so? Yeah, that was actually two, two years, years ago, ago, almost to the date. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, because it was about a week before my birthday last time. It's about two weeks before my birthday this time. Yeah, um, I worked at Oliver's. I worked there for about seven years. Uh, I've had this in the works, you know, for a while. And How long? Honestly, like I really started considering it around uh, COVID. Like I actually Sounds like what two years ago? Two, uh, three, years? three years ago? Yeah, like I I started considering it just for the sake of. Like, you know, I just wanted, you know, a little bit more of my own time. I realized that working for somebody, there's always, like, that chance that something could happen. And then, mm. like, you're just jobless. Uh, we don't you need know. you anymore. No, exactly, you know. And, like, not, never saying that I ever felt like that where I worked, you know. I really But you never know, right? You never exactly. know. Exactly. I really appreciate everything that, you know, that, <laughs> that I was presented with, opportunities that were given to me working where I was working. But, like, I definitely feel like it was definitely, like, my time to, you know, spread my wings, definitely do my own thing. You know, VIP Dominican Barbershop. VIP Dominican Barbershop. Brr, yes, sir. Address? Yes, sir. Uh, nine, 908 South Thornton, Suite 3. Oh, we're uh, right we're, down the road, baby. Yes, sir. We're we're actually right next door to the AK Smoke and Vape Shop, the brand new one that they just put mm, on Thornton. Which you brought us a little gift of that. Oh, right. yes, I did. Oh. I, I bought I brought them uh, Everybody a, got a, little, a little souvenir from souvenir. there. <laughs> yes, yes, I love yes. souvenir. Yeah, yeah. They, they're actually feeling quite nice for the souvenirs. I don't partake in the souvenirs as much anymore but you know you guys are definitely you, look like you guys are having a good that? time off oh of, like i say you look like you not, can participate not, not right? much neither right like not much drinker neither uh not much of a drinker not much of a smoker why, not why much of you anything could, you could have fooled me with the way you took that shot um <laughs> you did you did uh, yeah you didn't take that shot very well i mean you want to see my chest i do got hair on it no. you don't take your shirt off real quick but uh, why did on you camera? Do, <laughs> I mean, why did you decide that man why why you decide to uh, low low sober type vibe um, it, well, it's not really sober. It's just definitely, bro, I got three Sober-ish. kids at home. Yeah, you know, like, and, like, really, I, I crazy enough, it actually happened about three years ago. It was my son's birthday. Uh, he had just turned, if I'm not mistaken, he turned three. And, like, I was just drinking. I, I had just got over COVID, was drinking a lot of Corona that day. You turned I, three? I didn't even know. 
Hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, but seriously, you know, I was feeling light. You feel me? I wasn't feeling like drunk, but I was feeling good. And all of a sudden he fell actually. Oh. And, and he was like kind of like limping around for a second. And like my whole buzz just went away. And that moment, I just realized, like... You can start pouring your, like, the rest of your six-pack uh, down the uh, fucking... Not like that, either. Down, 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 bro, <laughs> so they just get but, rid of everything. But what just, I really was oh, thinking... I'm drinking that six-pack, bro. Exactly. Finish it. You but finish no, it. what I was really thinking was, like, if something had really happened to him, I was too drunk to do anything. Wow. Right? Mm. So I was like, you know, I, like, it's not so much like, oh, I got to stay sober for my own sake. But, you know, there's other people that depend on me. So I just can't... I just can't get to that level anymore because, you know, I got to... I, I got to be you. 100% that if something that, happens. But 100% like a, at all times? Yeah, you know, like if, like, you know, if, you, if you're if you always ready, you never got to get ready. Mm. Mm. T.I. said that. No, T.I. said that. I know that. Actually, you said that? You're the first person to ever say that? T.I., T.I., T.I. Tim Harris? But they said I said that. No, no, no. no, 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 no I did no, no, say no. that once before in my life. <laughs> at so least once. Three, three kids at home. How is that, brother? Oh, uh, shit. His three kids, bro. It's a like, like have one kid and like just multiply it by three, and that's about three kids at home. <laughs> yeah, just like you know, like they're all different. They all have their own personalities. They all have like their different little quirks. My son is actually autistic, so he comes with his own, with his own like you know List group, of stuff. group of instructions. Yeah. I like to say, and like my oldest, she's like very energetic. How old is oldest? Uh, she's eight. Okay, okay. Um, so still my, not not like not like old. No, old no, no. Or... But you know, but she's still you know she's definitely to that age where she knows a lot, talks a lot about a lot more, and mm. yeah, yeah. You know, like it's definitely an uh, interesting scene. So doing having the, raising these three kids, and then in the middle of it, you're like, yo, I'm gonna do this barbershop. So when did yeah. you first like? I guess got the building or like whatever you like leased the building. Crazy out? enough, like um, it was just like a random thing. I passed by, I saw the for rent sign. You know, went in and I was like, it's now or never, you know, like, wow. like, you know, you never, you never really truly feel ready to do any of these things. And it's, never the chance. And There's no just, such thing as like, yeah, oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know, I always told myself, no, one day, maybe next year. No, do it right now. <laughs> I almost got to start doing some shit. <laughs> yeah, you, almost, you almost opened a barbershop? I almost no, started, I almost, right? Well, hey. You said do it right now. I was about to start doing some shit. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. You know, like it, you never, it's never really the right time to do it, but you know, you just gotta get ready, you know, like like mentally at least, you know. I had like two months or, or so to really like get the spot ready to actually like go in to do it. And like once everything was coordinated, you know, I had chairs, I had I had stations, I had mirrors up, I had some lights, you know. Well, it took the longest is really like the licensing from the state to come in. But once mm. once I had that, I got my mm. occupational certificate. I op I opened up the doors literally. They were like, I don't know if I want to approve another Dominican barbershop. Like, I'm not going to lie, though. You know, like, like I was very on the fence about putting the Dominican even on the building. Mm. But, like, I just felt like, you know, Dominican is like... Like one, I'm Dominican, and two, it's like it's for the culture almost. You know, you're a barber. Mm -hmm. You know, you I've had so much. Like Dominican, Dominican, no soy. De mi raíces, no olvidar man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, boss, are we ready for a game? Oh, game. Oh, so, you, oh, you in there with it? Oh, you in it? Uh, um, uh, little something on Miss Angelica. We're going to let you lead this. This is brought to you by Four Loco, man. Shout Boom. out. Tell Four Loco one time. Gang, Hashtag gang, Four Loco for life, baby. We just got that Four Loco check, so uh, I'm not calling you back, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start. We're going to start with you here once our um, executive producer gets. We're Yo, doing, bring her, uh, you'll give her a little intro, though, man. You didn't even um, introduce her. Oh, I just said, Angelica, I just met you today, but I know you cut great fucking hair, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. You get faded up. You get dyed up. Whatever you want right here with the one and only working at the VIP Dominican Barbershop. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Angelica, or better known as Angie in these streets. Okay, this this game is called Cut or Cut It Out. <laughs> what? All right, so, All right, that so was it's going to go up there. You're going to tell a business like, yo, this is a good cut, or they need to fucking oh, cut it out. You uh, know what I mean? Jesus, I still okay, okay. I, I had to think that in the fucking moment, bro. That was pressure lie, was bro. on. We shouldn't have given this guy that shot of tequila. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, the so, blood is hot. Your so, fucking armor's burning. No, 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 I'm in here. I'm in here, brother. I'm fucking <laughs> dancing with the goddamn devil right now, brother. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, some pictures are going to come up here pretty soon as soon as we get the signal coming in. And then you're going to tell us um, what you guys oh. think about it. What do you think about boy Andrew Schultz with the Fury haircut? Dog? Angie, Angie, uh, let us know. One out of ten. Uh, speechless. That is just okay, like... Okay, say that in the mic, it's, though. It's, oh, sorry. It's, <laughs> it's a cut that just started and probably like your, your clipper just 
died. Yeah. <laughs> Before you got the fade in? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think your mom got arrested halfway through the bar. <laughs> <Yeah. cut>. <laughs> what <laughs> would you rate that uh, one out of ten? I'd rate that probably a two because it started. Oh. It started. I don't know. I just like, love Andrew Schultz, man. I'd give it a yeah. six. You know, it's my boy, Schultzy. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. What about you, Jordy? Would you rate it? <laughs> what you rate this right here? I mean, crazy. Call me crazy, but crazy. I. I, I <laughs> <laughs> Why you make a horny ass face? I don't know. Like I, I just felt so like, important because everybody said like, crazy. <laughs> he just said like, the cutest you know, crazy rat. thing ever. Oh my god! The cra- cutest, it. cutest, craziest motherfucker I've ever seen. Yo, George, stop flirting with me, man. <laughs> All what? right, but you guys are gonna call me crazy. Yeah. Don't do it again. And um, like I actually really like the haircut. Um, it's Ooh. not it's not a very like popular haircut, but I understand like the concept behind it. It's supposed to be like a very like blunt look. Uh, the, I feel like the share work is really like well placed, and that line looks actually very cleaned up. It's not a very popular haircut, and I know it's maybe not something that you would do on I, an everyday basis. But I would actually, I'd say ten out of ten. I really agree with it. I, I like it. I, I it flows it, well together. Well, I think it's a haircut that's starting. Like it's a haircut that you're gonna start seeing this a lot more because people yes. say the same thing about the mullets. It's a it's a very it's a very um blunt um, underground indie. Yeah, right now it's an it's, indie haircut. Like I like to call it European because mm. like like haircuts like this it's kind of like the comb over when wow. it came to the states about ten years ago. Like you know everybody was like oh those haircuts are so ugly with the line on it like it's right. it's so blah 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 and now you can't go to a soccer field without seeing facts one. facts. All right uh, ne- next uh next haircut brother. I feel like I like, I like my see I don't like that bro. Mm. I like my fade. Uh, I like my fade where you can like this? see the fade, bro. Oh, that, uh, that's uh, that's fucking uh, Edward from Angie. Twilight. Talk to us, Angie. What's that's going not on here? Edward. Oh, no. yeah, it is Edward. <laughs> yeah, that is Edward. Okay, okay. okay let's, let's make an example. All right, if you're at the barbershop, right, Angie? Okay. And somebody comes out to you with this picture and they're like, I want you to do this. You doing it? Oh. Uh, I mean, yeah. I've done, <laughs> I've done something money, similar. Man. I've done something similar. Um, like where you just kind of like fade like with one on side and just don't fade it. Like continue fading it up. So like, I mean, client has to say, you know. What do you think about the little, the strip back here? Like just in the back of his That's neck. That's just fashion, brother. It's like a barcode. I mean, it's unique. But Some like, is, it like a, is it a good unique? Scan scan keep them, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not. No, my opinion, it's not a good unique, but it's unique. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't understand. Honestly, I'm just confused. I don't understand it, and I'm a little angry about it. Jordy, Jordy, <laughs> you let, let us know what's going on here, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You say, like, oh my goodness! Did like, you say like, European dude, again, dude? Or like, you say yeah, European like, haircut, like European haircut, bro. Like I'm just saying, like this is all the rage in Italy this year. No, I'm, I'm really kidding. Like this reminds me a lot when I used to work in Miami and like used to get like the coke heads like come in and want a haircut and they're just like, man, I just really want you to start the fade, leave a little thing in the back, and oh my god, I, I'm just gonna love it exactly the way that you put it like that and. Uh, then, is horny as fuck over there, bro. I don't know. The Coke does that to you. Have, have, do you know what that feels like, right? Uh, nah, I, I, I done bro. Coke one time, but I was very drunk, and I just did it to sober up. But it, wow. wasn't, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to get high, though. I mean, I, I think really the caffeine oh, is what you, really gets you Coke. You said, wow, were you let <laughs> down because I didn't try Coke? He's like, wow. I'm, I'm we're here little, with this virgin. He's never done a Coke before. I mean, the thing is that, like, with your reputation, you know, I, I'd feel like Jordan? you'd be a... Your reputation. Like, like yeah. How do I, when, did, when, did I, when, did I, when did I start having a bad reputation? I don't know. It's written on the... Oh. On oh, the brother, club started, bathroom, something about year, Kelvin brother. was here doing coke. <laughs> when did my bad reputation oh, start? Last year, man. You don't want to know. First, I feel, I feel like I have a great reputation, man. Well, you do have a great reputation <laughs> yeah. for doing slut. cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, as a <laughs> cocaine whore, I don't, even have, I don't even have time to have sex with women, man. That's <laughs> a busy oh, schedule. You got, you got time to Jesus cocaine. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine is the only thing that keeps from going. Um, um, One time. My bad. Let's, 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 let's power through this game. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. Show me the next one. I'm not I'm reacting to this shit. Go to the next one. That's an Angelica haircut okay, from the okay, Rugrats. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> His name one. is uh, Coolio? Coolio. Coolio, yeah. He was a big, like, i just surprised that he never got rid of the braids. Oh, how do you say that in Spanish, though? Coolio? Coolio. No, culero. No, is that how you say that? I think so. That's right, what I'm trying to say. He looks, like, right? uh, he looks like he could fly a little bit. But Angie, uh, cut it or cut it out? Angie, you doing you doing this? Cut it or cut it out? That's I a good guess, name. Yeah, I, I guess like it, that, it, dude. I guess it. Thanks. Is. I was just thought about that's that fire, right now. That's fire. <laughs> no, that's crazy, man. It's cut it or cut it out. It's crazy as hell, Jordy. So what? Is, what is this? Is it cut it or cut it out? I don't. I don't like it when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> but when Jordy I says mean, that, it's cool. Like. 
I wouldn't promote it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think oh, I'm no, actually... I got on your Instagram and you got this on there. Like, yo, I'm not <laughs> no, going there. That's, that's like a red flag. Like, that's a, make a, a make red flag. Book now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the Northwest Georgia area, you want this cut? <laughs> the book now. The link is in my bio. <laughs> uh, that's insane. Hey, did you drop yeah. something? Yeah, I dropped the. Oh, no, 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 just leave it. Just leave it. I told you I didn't want to drink. No, we got we got the maid here. I'll pick it up. Anything for you. Show me the next one, man. Oh, oh my boy Gucci. Jack. Why is he doing that? That's young Jack. 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 I, I never said Young Jeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Young Jeezy, Young, young, young Jock. Young, when I bet, bet Young Jock when I said yeah, that. Yeah, Young Jock out here looking like somebody's auntie, bro. What? I don't get it, bro. I don't understand. What kind I, of haircut? I'm not going to lie to you. Young don't. Jock looks like he's about to put out the best salsa album out of Dominican Republic <laughs> that you've ever seen in your life. But like, what other haircut could he have besides just like a fade, like a low fade? That's mm. all. Why, he could literally why do, change it? He could literally do done. And me, <laughs> like but this, he could have shaved his head and it would have been better than this. Do you think he looks like kind of Indian a little bit? Because I feel like Indian a little bit, yeah. Fuck Indian, yeah. Oh. I thought it was an Indian gentleman at first. Because Indians are Gucci man. Yeah, so is it Indian man Gucci man? <laughs> man Gucci man. <laughs> are they the same person? <laughs> but because, because, because Indian, Indian people are like black, but they got good hair. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, straight, straight. Wait, hair, wait, straight wait. Hair. Come on, bro. It's like super straight. Come hair. on, bro. I don't like that that term. Good, good hair. Good hair. <laughs> Come on, man. But he has a point. Straight. We're sacrificial over here. It's true. Easier to manage. Easier to manage. Uh, we get so long. And, yeah. <laughs> um, next one. <laughs> I think you made him feel uncomfortable a little bit. Oh, who's this? Hey. Oh, oh, God. Wait, which one are we doing? Uh, oh, this is hey. our truth. This nah. is our truth. No, who is that? Jimmy Butler. Oh, Jimmy Butler. No. The guy that's... Well, he doesn't really have a haircut. He has dreads. Yeah. But uh, the uh, style altogether, you guys want... I don't, think it's, I don't think it's bad. Now, go ahead. You can dissect it the right the there. All right, Angie. I mean, it's not bad, you know? He has braids in. I mean, a lineup can get a little bit better, but it's not... A complete like. There you go. Headphones. Yeah, no, I, that's yeah. probably the best one I've seen so far. It's, it's the best one I've seen so far. I'm, 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 even, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm a little bit jealous of his hair. It, it's so <laughs> fire, but maybe that's just the Miami and me talking. But like that, that is so fire mm. to me. Little, so little yeah. Haiti, little Haiti talking in you. Like, not, uh, uh, not Miami, it. Miami Gardens, Carol City, you already know three hundred five stand up. Mm. Till oh, I die, baby. Yeah. That's till I die. Um, one out of ten. What are we rating it? Well, I guess cut. We're cutting this, right? I mean, gotta cut it out. I mean, we we gotta cut it out for me to see the damn fade because the, <laughs> yes. no, the only thing I can see is the dreads. All right, yeah, because yeah, all right. Next uh, picture. Um, you better be wearing Gucci. I mean, Louis V. Every fucking day of your life, if you're wearing this shit, dog. If you got this shit faded on your head, you better be. Was this the? Down. Is this the kid though? Is this the kid that did this? Ah, yeah, uh, okay, okay. It is the boy though. It's this fine. Who's the boy? The boy. You know the boy, man. My boy, yeah, uh, Slumpy Kelv, dog. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He did this right. Also, oh, he this he probably wears Louis V. Then. I'm sure. I mean, I, I mean, like, he, he did the haircut. I'm not sure, like the guy that got the haircut. That's what I'm done. saying, though. No, yeah, that's, if that's, you get Louis V so, on you, that's, that's like better. A, that's like a 2012 snapback and tattoos haircut. Mm, this is boom. Like, yeah, it's not a bad buddy video. What do you think about now, pussy? Nah, still. 2012 snapback tattoos haircut. I'm just saying, I'm like, you better be wearing Louis Snap V. Snapbacks and tattoos. Thank you, Jordy. I know, <laughs> I, I know a guy that has like LV tattoos on him, though. Oh, this is fucking crazy. How many, how many, how many, how many does he have a Louis Vuitton belt buckle? I remember he's in prison right now, brother. So we don't know what he's doing right now. I mean, now. guys with Louis Vuitton no tattoos buckle. usually are in prison. Yeah. I, I, like, it's, this is not an opinion, this is a fact. So cut or cut it out? Oh. I have to cut it out, man. I'm sorry. Not cut, man. That takes some detail right there. I mean, definitely. Yeah, I the, mean, the, this, it takes talent. Yeah, takes the, talent. the skill is hard, but I feel like to wear this every day is kind of kind of crazy. Okay, so what's the point of the game? Do we like the haircut, or do we think it's just something Wearable. that's not practical? Mm. Mm. All right, what would you rate the haircut though? What would you that? rate the haircut? No, haircut is as far as I can see, it looks good on this side. I don't know what the other side is looking like, but as far as I can see, it's a pretty decent haircut. So like design, everything. Like, I feel like I feel like there's like. A lot of enhancements being used, so like, oh. but no, no, no knock to enhancements. Enhancements like really make haircuts. <laughs> saving, pop. They're saving niggas these days. What, what, what yeah. enhancements? Uh -huh. Like what? Like what? Um, enhancements. Uh, usually, like it's like. Um, thank you, Kelvin. 
<laughs> um, enhancements are usually like, let's say you just have a hairline that is just a little lighter in certain spots. Like you could make it like a little bit sharper, a little bit darker. I wouldn't say for like a day to day, a week to week type thing, but definitely for special events, you're getting on a podcast or something like that. You know, definitely oh. throw something on there. So, you know, mm. you can look better for the camera. But, you know, but but for your job at T-Mobile, no, don't don't put enhancements <laughs> in your hair, bro. We, we, don't, we don't need you wearing Yeah, we don't need enhancements for that. But for the Louis V, I really like the haircut, you know. I don't feel like it's practical, but, you know, young problem. guys, artists, yeah, you yeah. know, all that good stuff. Yeah. Um. All right, what do we have <clears throat> on? Oh. Uh, the Diddy. The boy Diddy, man. Yo, Puff, Puff Daddy, Diddy. <laughs> His P. Head, Diddy. Whatever you call him. His head always been shaped like that. <laughs> that nigga look like Manolo Cabeza de Huevo. <laughs> <laughs> that boy do look crazy, bro. Like, he look like a crackhead. He only doesn't look like a crackhead because it's Diddy. If it wasn't oh, no, Diddy, he's like, 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 no, he's like a celebrity. Like a Celebrities crackhead. can wear what they want. And they yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's a crackhead. very tight mohawk. Like, why would you go to the mohawk directly in the middle of your head like that? <laughs> and it's a little actually <laughs> off-center. Yeah. Mm. Off center. Yeah. Uh, cut it or cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> yeah. Cut it out. 100%. Yeah, cut it out. One hundred percent. It looks like he he did. It's. I think it's the face that he's making. Too, yeah. That it's, that's not, making it's, not, it's not. A, it's not a good picture. It's not a good picture. It's not a flattering picture. It's not a good haircut. I don't even like the fucking glasses he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> No, what about the shirt? You like the shirt? <laughs> yeah, he looks like a. He no, like that's a actually a pretty good shirt. He looks like a fucking <laughs> server at fucking. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. But I think Yo, he, fuck I think me, he's pretty idiot. Funny. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I feel like he looks more like a, like a Mormon missionary a little bit. God you know? damn, he be. He, he'd pull up on you on a bicycle. I could see that. Like a hip-hop Mormon uh, missionary. <laughs> <dude. That's true. laughs> like, he, like he reads yeah. scripture to you, but he really raps about, it to about you. about this fucking guy? Just wait his face on I don't know. I don't know if I like that guy or his face either. <laughs> I wish um, I wouldn't have one of his side, like more of a little bit of the fade when he Because he, he goes, uh, uh, yeah, he gets actually, chopped up. Actually, Eek does go to Oliver's to get a haircut. Yeah, yeah. that's the guy here in Dallas, Yeah, right? but Nolasco yeah. cuts his hair. Yeah. Yeah, shout out All to right, Nolasco, my dog. Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what do you what do you think about the, the mullet? Uh, uh, Angie, you're supposed to be leading this game. Please <laughs> cut it, cut it out. Well, I mean, I can't say I hate mullets. My mullet, my dad, he's had a mullet his whole life. Oh, so. oh <laughs> shit, that was a money shot right there. Now he's yeah. missing. <laughs> so I mean, what, how about how about cutting um, mullets? Like, does it take a certain like different type of skill? Um, actually, no, they're pretty simple. I like mullets. Uh, well, I like I like cutting mullets. But I mean, I can't say I hate them. Like, mm, can you date a guy with a mullet? Uh, no, I feel uh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel weird. So because, they're, because like, they're not awful, but they're not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eek, honestly, like. I don't feel like everybody could pull off a mullet. Like I, I'm, I'm gonna give Eek his props though. He actually has like a really nice mullet, and he gets a haircut quite often. That I think that that's what actually keeps it up. Mm, keeps that I, presence. Yeah, because a lot of guys they get that mullet, they let that that tail grow out, and once it's at a certain length, that like, they stop the maintenance on it. And like I feel like when you have a haircut where you have so much length on it, you definitely have to do some kind of maintenance on it on a on a regular basis to keep it up. That's the same way with George that he has like the ponytail. Like if you were to like let the slides grow out for like three, four months at a time, nah, don't do like that. you know, that don't would look don't crazy. Do that. Come on, yeah. George. Yeah. Let your hair grow. Yeah. Yeah. See it, see it, see it, see it, see it. Wow. wow. Get in? I put I put Joe in my hair, man. So all right, all right. It's right, boy right. Fed. We should we should we should clear this up, man. Whoa, uh, ladies and gentlemen on the internet, man. We have an exclusive picture here, not found uh, usually anywhere. Very rare. Fade. I don't know if you know Fade. Oh, Fade, Fade doesn't have a fade. <laughs> no. oh. Fade. This is this guy's actual hairline. This is why he always wears uh, hats and sunglasses. Because so, you will not find a picture of him without a hat on. Without a hat on, except this. What do we um? What do we think about this, Ange? Can we save him? What would we do? Like, if this guy walks into your shop, like, what, are you what can we? Problem? What can we do to was save this guy's hairline? It can't be saved. It can't. <laughs> oh, what about enhancements? You think enhancements? If, if it doesn't grow, just. Just let it go. It, yeah, let oh, it go. If it doesn't grow, let it go, man. Ooh. So what would you... Can we finish each other's sentences? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do for, like, a guy who has, like, the cul-de-sac on his head? Like, he's just missing the middle part, and, like, he just has the sides? 
Um, believe it or not, like I'm actually gonna, gonna answer your question with a story. Um, when I first started, strangely working, enough, I believe all of that. <laughs> like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, when I first started working over there at Oliver's, it was actually a guy that he was completely bald on the top, but had like a good amount of hair on the side. Like it was like a little puff, and he would actually go in there and ask for a low fade. And like, you know, and like very specific to not go too high up on the on the crown area. And like I, I like I'm almost 100 percent sure that he oh, wore I, like I, a. Are you saying he had nothing up here? Nothing. And just the side. So he's wearing yeah. a low fade. And, and so it's like, like a bald to hair to low fade. Yes. That's insane. Mm, yeah. So it's like a fade. It's like a f- hair fade. It's like yeah. a low fade. But but bald. but to answer George's question, um, there is saving him. But he has to get a short haircut, mm. you know. Like you could find a like maybe like a like a mount like a nice guide on the top, you know, knock it down to a certain number, and maybe like work on the back of the head where like you'll even out the lightness with what? the front. And you mm. maybe give him like you a higher give, give him like a higher nah, fade. You, you saw, you, then, you saw yourself to far, the devil, huh? As for like the thing is that. I'm a sucker for a fucking challenge, bro. Like, I, I like it when somebody comes in and they're asking me for something that it's, like, almost impossible to give them. And that's probably why 99.9% of my clients are, like, people that are, like, super-duper picky. But I'm all for it, bro. Like, because as soon as you get, like, a picky client in your chair and you nail the haircut they went, the way that they want it, like, that's a client for life. And I'm all for mm. that. Yeah, because if you get a non, I, I just actually just thought about that. Because if you get a non-picky client, then they can go to anybody because they're not picky, and they, they really don't care like how the so haircut comes out. Clients. Bro, the, the other do? the other day I went to get Why a haircut. Are you disgusted by it? No, no, I just, just <laughs> hold it's surprising. Hold on, I want to tell you. The other day yeah, I went to get a haircut the other too. Day, dude. <laughs> First of all, I do not talk. I, was, I do not talk like that. Come, come on, on, come exactly on like dude. That. I know you talk like that a little. Dude, the other fucking day, man. That's not what I sounded like. That's not what I sounded like, dude. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know I, suck somebody off. No, I, I went to get a haircut and um and then uh, my nephew was there and so oh. then I, my, I took my nephew with me too or whatever okay so you didn't go <laughs> there you took him with you what do you mean <laughs> you said he was there and like you just showed up and you just oh, no, I went to go get a haircut and with then, your nephew yeah with my okay, nephew okay, okay, okay. yeah yeah yeah, the, I, no, yeah you just made it sound like he was already I was already there okay okay my fault my fault my fault my fault okay so we were hanging out okay tell the whole story we were hanging out at my brother's house start from the beginning we were hanging out at my brother's house okay I was gonna get a haircut and then my brother was like yo um Aiden my nephew like he needs to get a haircut too take him I was like alright whatever and uh I where did you go to get a haircut uh, oh, the head of the wrong home. place. My oh, girl, I'm but, I'm but, I'm, but I'm one of those. It's like I'm, I get a I'm very playing, simple. I'm you're playing, not. I'm no, playing. you're not. Don't say I'm you're not, kidding. I'm not. I'm but, um, no, but, wait. I am. What are you? <laughs> you confuse me. <laughs> but I, get I, I just want. I just want to put this on the record. I think you need the headphones, dude, because you were just. I'm all for everybody, bro. Because <laughs> um, I uh. I get a very, I'm one of those. I'm not picky. I get a very yeah. simple haircut. Anybody can cut my fucking hair. You I, know what I mean? I see that. So, um. You're fucking slut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I go, and then, um. He treats his head how he treats his other head. Anybody can have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good, that's good. So I go, and then I'm like, yo, can you come on? Nephew's head too, da, 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 whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. I get done. I go to the bathroom, and then I get, go out, and then Aiden's not in uh, her chair. And I'm like, what's that? You're not getting a haircut? It's like, then she's like, um, Gandhi, my barber. She's like, no, he said no, he's good. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He this is 12 he... years old. And he's like, no, nah, you're not my barber. Dude. You're not touching my fucking head. Dude. Bro, like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, back when I was 12, like, I didn't even know what a hair. What Yo, a, no, but what, like, you know, like, yeah. that's what I'm like, saying. Yeah, like, I, I used to just sit down and get a haircut. These these kids are spoiled with Instagram. Yeah. And, then, and then it's not, I'm not going to say they have unrealistic expectations. But, like, if you're not giving them Instagram haircuts, bro, they don't want them. <laughs> Yeah, no, they don't want them so, no more. That was just funny. And I'm just like, all right, I mean, I'm not gonna make him get a haircut if he doesn't want to. But I just thought it was funny. I'm like, bro, 12 years old. He's like, you know what? No, I'm good. I'm gonna go to my boy Oscar, or whatever the fuck. That's dude. insane. <laughs> Bazo, can we change? Shout out to please, Oscar, man? bro. I'm, t- a, I'm tired of seeing this guy's face. It's like, um, uh, yo, Jaden Rogers, kid. Yeah. Yeah, he went to your barber shop and he got pissed because you couldn't cut his hair one day. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, really? That. Yeah. that dude is four years old. Yeah, 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 he was. He was actually saying they're pretty pissed off. He flicked me off. Believe. <laughs> I do believe like, that. Yeah, I looked over at him and he was just like, I was like, <laughs> yeah, he was in another barber seat, just pissed, bro. He was high, he wasn't having it. Uh, but he was getting a haircut by somebody else. Mm. Yeah, he was. He was. Right, uh, next, um, okay, right. thank God, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah, oh, man. yeah, Little Boat. What? I thought he looks like this little boy. Wait, is that little Yachty for real? Yeah, he looks like somebody's <laughs> aunt, bro. But it, he straightened his hair like for like funs, like shits and gigs, right? Oh, okay. he's going to braid it. Do they uh, do you straighten your hair before you braid it? Oh, you, you, you blow, want blow, blow dry. dry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Makes it easier? Okay, that's why. So, Angie? That's kind of what you cut why, it. Right? Why, does it like, why does he have like an orange shirt? It kind of makes him look like he's in prison a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, yeah, yeah, the the orange, it makes, he looks like he's somebody's prison girlfriend. Bro. Yeah, it's like they're, just, they're doing like a video chat on the phone right now. <laughs> yeah, he should have, out of every color, he should have not wore orange. That's yeah. crazy. All that money, he got a broken chair. It, it, I just feel like you could really relate to celebrities. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Is that the last one? So, <laughs> uh, the, so thank you for Loco thank you, for this segment. Um, thank you, Bazo. Yo, so we were kind of we were talking about uh, kids' haircuts, and I was wondering, and oh, you got chugging um, them. You got you got kids, right? I got three. How do you realize? How do you decide who to uh, what haircut to give your kid? Right? Oh, Ooh, okay. So with my kid, he's really easy with haircuts. But I mean, like the first time he had a haircut, he was five months old. It was a disaster. Um, Crying. <laughs> No, I mean, disaster because I didn't know how to cut at that time. Uh, okay, okay. So you um, were the problem. I was the problem. Yes, I admit it. I agree with that. Um, I've been kind of like, you know, some people come in and they're like, you know what? Give him a skin fade. And, yo, he's like two years old. Yeah, he's like three insane. years old. Yeah. So, I mean, you can fix like a fade with one, with a two, but you can't fix the skin fade right. to look really like clean. Um, so with him, I just kind of like started off like with a one and then like, Okay, with a half, then like, okay, let's go with the taper. Like, so he can get kind of like the sensation of like what's skin fade. And now he gets kind of like a, like a mid drop fade sometimes. I even like did some a, designs. What's a, a mid drop? A mid drop? Is that kind of like where it goes more yes, low in the back? Right? It, goes, it goes down towards the oh, okay, back. Okay. Like, mm. it's not like completely like all mm. around. Gotcha. So I kind of well, like well, went little by no, little. I was about to kind of like, like your hair? No, because that's more like mullet, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, Nah, I'm a, that's well, more like a taper type. Like beat. yeah, like like basically the Let haircut. Me see the back? That, uh, no, I don't have a taper. No, that's not a taper. Okay, no, I know like, a taper when I see. No, nah, but let me see the back though. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> you gotta pay for that, <laughs> Bobby. <Yeah. laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> you don't have to pay for it, no, 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 no. Get the money, man. You got the money. Right there. You got the money, man. Actually, can I see that? You're not wasting this money on Jordy, dude. <laughs> Damn. <bro. laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> but, it's just, it's just, it's uh, just, it's just a. Uh, what is it? Uh, sexual preference, you know what I mean? Oh, I thought it was just I'm gonna spend the money. I'm spending on on a girl, you know. I thought it was because y'all are cousins. I don't. Oh no, nah, no, nah, the incest. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, no, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fine. Well, I'm fine with the incest. <laughs> it's, yeah. the, it's the gay that I'm not. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Okay. But uh, you have yeah. Pride Month for everybody out there. It's yeah. over. It's over. It's, it's over. over. It's over. It's, uh, it's Pride Month for me every day, brother. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so you said what were you talking about? Haircuts. Oh um, yeah, no. Because what about? Sorry, I was just saying you were about your other kids. Do you do each each child like do they have a different haircut or you kind of give them whatever like you choose? Okay, so I have two girls. Usually, I just trim their mm, hair a little they bit. They don't get lines up, right? They don't line no. up. No, <laughs> <So, laughs> my my little boy. Well, I just kind of switch it up. So I do designs on him and I switch it up a little bit. Like um, he got a like a flash design today. Like a little, so like, you kind of like do some test runs on him. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a little like guinea pig, you know? Yeah. So, the past one he had, like, I have an artist who has like a lot, all these face tattoos. He has like a like a devil wing and an angel wing. So, I did that on his haircut, like, oh. angel wings on one side, oh. devil wings on one side. So, I just kind of run. He's been asking me for like a Superman, but I mean, that's really intricate. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I might, like, do it one day, but for now, I'm just kind of waiting on it. So that's why I decided to do a flash, like, just a lightning bolt on the side where he could be kind of like, okay, yeah, I mean, he, he's four, so. Oh, so yeah. it's like. Yes. But I feel like that's not going to last long, man. I feel like it once, he, once he's, like, 11 or 12, he's going to be like, mom, you can't just keep experimenting. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I do it for now. I do it for now. I'm aware that whenever he grows yeah. up, he starts having friends. Like, yeah. he this might is... even have his own barber. It's going to yeah. be kind of embarrassing for him. Oh, like, wow. you know, my mom cuts my hair. Yeah. No. Like, like, mom, this is not like a rocket. <laughs> it's like a penis. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so, would, y'all, would y'all be offended if you're, like, y'all's kids, like, comes up, like, you know what? I don't want you to come up here. Jordy, what if your kid tells you that, man? 
I mean, you know, like it's it's a part of the journey, you know, like like definitely a, being a barber in general, like at one point you're going to get old and the younger people aren't going to want to get haircuts with you anymore. Mm. You know, just because like, you know, like they just feel like in their hearts like, hey, like you're not going to give me the haircut that I want. Like maybe they can't relate to you. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Like I know like even right now like I'm I'm, I'm not old, but you know, I'm I'm about to be 30. Ah. I, I'm about to be 30. I'm about to be 30 in a couple of weeks. He's literally our age. Yeah. And we're all right, fine. I'm, I have a, I'm not young. You look like you would give little kids advice on a basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would get down on one knee and just hold the ball like, son, sometimes you have to go out there and try your best. Yeah, you look like you would step a fight in a, in a basketball court. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Come over here. Come on. We need to be out here getting better, getting these libraries. Yeah. You're out here fighting these streets. Yeah. 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 Come on. You look like you would, you'll, say, you'll say something like, um, like, sucker. Yeah, yeah, like some suckers. <laughs> like, you start every word with like just brother, brother, brothers. <laughs> Let me tell you what we and somehow you're eating something. You always you like, shaking yeah. something. Like, like fucking corn nuts or something. Like, yeah, yeah. Corn is just brothers, brothers. You say youngins. You say youngins a lot. Oh, oh I do youngins say youngins young a lot. Bloods. God damn, <laughs> I do say youngins a lot. Not young bloods, but youngins. Yeah, yeah, youngins or y'all little stool pigeons. Stool. <laughs> I just stool I don't know. Wait, in a while. Wait, just, what's a stool pigeon? That's a, that's a strip club, brother. Oh. <laughs> I thought stool pigeon was like a snitch, isn't it? No, I don't know. What, what stoop? Was it a stoop? Basel, uh, urban dictionary? No, it is, it, that, I don't know. Urban dictionary I don't even know what you. I don't even know what it means, but yeah, I'm stool offended. Pigeon. <laughs> stool pigeon is like a snitch, isn't it? By the way, um, stool pigeon? A police informer. Yeah, yeah, stool pigeon. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, what is Thanks, it? What's the last one say? A person of my Acti- what? Acting as a decoy. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that's a person that's so, my dog. So a fed, a fed, a fed. Yeah. A fed, yeah. That's crazy. Um, by the way, how was um, Griffin, man? Fresh <laughs> off of the red eye, dog. Yeah, literally yes. fresh out. Fresh dude. out. Like, he, I'm talking about just landed like, here. Like, yeah, he wasn't supposed to be here today. The, com- oh, <laughs> the commitment, the commitment on this guy. Hey, man, it's a business. So, it's a business. Uh, Angie, um, yes. Jordy, for you that don't know, man, uh, our brother here, less than... You know, six hours ago, he was in Colorado living the time of his life. Wow. But we told him, yo, we're recording Sunday, and he flew in the next flight, brother. And I got to go back. Like, <laughs> yeah. So we can down here Because his car's still there. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I'll talk, you're talking private jet Griff? Yeah. yeah. So oh, how, like, oh, hold man. on. I didn't know he was PJ Griff. Oh, yeah. PJ Griff. Shit. So how, oh. how, how was it? As a podcast, man. Podcast money right there. How, how was it, man? How was it over there? Uh, dude, it's fun. Um I don't know, man. It's just fucking the times two hours behind, which ain't doesn't sound oh. like that much. But dude, it fucks up your sleep and schedule. Uh, behind, so when here is like nine, there is seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. No, because like so I, you hear people up extra early and shit. And yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck? So like me, like I wake up early already to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like so here, I'd wake up probably around like seven thirty eight, just like on like oh, on my day off. There's like four. Yeah, no, it was like five or some shit, dude. Like I was just fucking. I, I was like, why am I awake right now? And I would go to sleep over there like at twelve, and like over here is like two. Damn. But. Yeah, no, it's fun. Uh, visiting my brother. How's he doing? Uh, sober. What? Yeah, yeah, sober, man. Like sober. completely, 100%. Yeah. But is he sober because he wants to be sober, or is he sober because something happened that caused mm. him to be sober? Uh, probably, probably the same thing you said. He has three kids. Uh, same thing. Those you kids know? ruin your life. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Don't have kids. Uh, don't have kids. I, no, I, I already got a vasectomy, you, you dog. Want, you want kids? No, I got a vasectomy. Like, you, you don't want kids wait, at wait, all? Wait, wait. No, no, I'm Did okay. you legitimately get a vasectomy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a vasectomy uh, two years ago. Like two years ago. Why? No, I don't have a scar or anything. No, I don't have Put in my How are you gonna tell? Like I wanna, I wanna measure the weight on those things. Make sure you're really so you not don't, producing anything, though, boy. So you, don't, you don't want kids at all? No, no, no. I mean, no. I mean, I feel like I'm at an age. I'm okay with them. Um, I'll, I'll take some step kids, but that's you know. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. How about you, man? Uh, no, I do want kids. Of your own? Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's. I think we do it. How many? Question, how many step kids you want, man? <laughs> um, whatever. Whoever I fall in love with, man, I'll take how, how, how many, many step kids. Oh, no, what's, like, what's like the limit, though? I don't have a limit, brother. Love oh, is a limit. Like, so you know, like, what if they have five? Them? That's fine. What if they have five? Five is a lot. Five oh, is a lot. You I have three is them. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think two is a lot. You got support for <laughs> kids. Bro, love is love, brother. I don't know what you guys want me to say. I'm, I'm a sucker for love. That's I mean, good, if it was up to me, I'd probably cut it off like two or something. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel like, two, two. I feel like I was I feel like I was at two a couple years ago. I think now I'm at three. I feel like three is a <laughs> You know the thing is that the, the older you the, get the older you get, yes. <laughs> Cause the, at first, the I mean, older you get, those expectations they just got a little bit lower. Yeah. Cause when you were younger, when you were 
was no kids. No yeah. kids. And now yeah. you're like, I'll take a kid. I'll, I'll take, take two kids. I'll take <laughs> three kids. Like, fuck it. I might never have no kids and just take them all from there. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, I'll be like, bro, I'll take, a, I'll take shorty that's a grandmother. You know, she yeah. 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 a couple grandkids. That's just how around. life is, dog. Yeah. Yeah. They can call me, what, what, what would your grandfather name be? How about that? Oh. oh. PJ Griff. PJ Griff. I would be like, oh, Papa. <laughs> Like Papa Dan or freaking, you know how they say like whatever? Because a lot of people don't use abuelo and abuela. They'll be like, oh. But for you to fuck a granny right now, you got to like bang a chicken like her 60s, bro. Nah, I don't know. You probably bang a chicken in the 40s. Like if you find a Spanish girl, you might. Yeah. So if you you find yourself a Spanish girl, you might find her in her like early 40s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like Like, 18, 18, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. So she had had somebody in her 20s and now that 20 year old, now she's 40. I mean, your mom's what, 50? My mom's 50, yeah. Yeah, 50, and she's uh, whatever, already a <laughs> grandmother. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, she's your grandmother. Why are you just about my mom? Yeah, yeah. I just come said on, no, she's mom's 50. Yeah. Yeah. Mom's yeah. 50, yeah. 50 yeah. and a grandmother. Hey, come but on. Because they had a kid young, you uh, know? I thought you were going to say, yo, your mom's 50, she bad? I thought that's what you were going to say. Why would I say that? Is that what you thought you were going to say? What? I just said she's a grandmother. She's a grandma, right? Do you guys are Since we're on the topic, you know, you might send me a number. So how many kids would you take whatever to marriage or whatever the fuck you're talking about? You want kids? I think I'll take two. And but do it, you want kids? Uh, I do want kids on my own. Uh, I think one kid I'm good with. But I, I think I'll take two, but if the head is really fucking Ooh, good. Oh my God. Bro, if the head is fire, I'll take three if the head it's is so fire. so vulgar of you, yeah. dude, to say things like that. I don't think that's vulgar. I feel like that's realistic. No, that's, that is realistic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put up with a lot of shit when the head is good. Yo, the head is good? I'll take a couple arguments, brother. <laughs> you know? Um, if the head's not good, you tell me some shit about leaving the dishes out. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. I'll leave. I'll leave I'll with the dishes. <laughs> I'll, I'll you know, be in the dishes. We'll be gone by oh, the morning. Oh, yeah. I'm taking both of them with me. I'm taking this goddamn house, too. I'm loading the goddamn house in the goddamn truck right now. <laughs> um, no, no, no. So then, how many? Oh, I know you. Uh, Plus, I got two spare bedrooms, man. Jordan, so. yeah, I'm, I'm married. So, oh, I mean, did you did you always want three or did you want? I actually want four. I'm actually wanting one more kid. Mm. Ah, yeah, that's the same. I want yeah, one more. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like, I, why, like why, I've always why? I've always actually wanted four. And when I met when I met my wife, she already had two. You know, took on the responsibility. We ended up having a third one. And and right now we're kind of on pause for the fourth because the business and we're just trying to get like more things sorted out. Like I want to buy a house. I want to definitely have the business more stable before we put another mouth to feed. But mm. definitely one more kid should be it. The last addition to the, par- the Pachardo household. Nice. Thank you. Missing. That's why that's why we're really like pushing for the business, you know, like like we're actually having a grand opening in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which is actually yeah. what we're here. That's yeah. actually, that's exactly what yeah. I like that's why I kinda had to drop it in because I felt like the conversation. <laughs> 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 we just started talking about the bitch and his grandmothers. And we talk about kids for another 10 minutes. <laughs> Hold on, let, let, let Angie answer yeah, at least before, before we move on. Okay, what was the question? <laughs> um, I think it was one, well, you have kids of your own already. Yes. But I think we asked, uh, getting into a new relationship, how many, is there a cutoff limit, whatever, like this person already has kids. Okay, oh, so you have three, bro. You have so three, that's you, six, yeah, bro. And that's adding on top of that, yeah. Okay, yes, I have three of my own. Um... I am married, so... You're married? Yes! Oh, okay. I Shout mean, out to the lucky man out there, man. <laughs> I mean, Sucks it's going to go on public. I have to say I am, so... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she is. She is married. <laughs> yes, I am married. Uh, he has two kids. They're grown. Uh, oh. So we don't want more kids around. So I don't have to worry about dealing with, mm-hmm. like, oh. other kids. I don't mind, really. I wouldn't mind. Like, if it was the other way around, like, where I... Like, my spouse has kids, like... I'm okay with that, you know. You gotta accept him, like with his family too. Definitely. So definitely. So yeah, and yes. I think it'd be kind of hy- hypocritical of you. You'd be like, I don't want no guy yes, with no kids. Right. And you got three kids of your own, right? He said he didn't want no more kids. <laughs> like his yeah, kids are crazy. older. That would be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> his kids are older, and he like didn't want no kids after. Like his youngest is probably like 15, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can get a job. Yes, and now he has three more. Oh, that's what <laughs> they put him off. Wow, work. so magical and miracle. Yes, <laughs> The miracle but, of life. But no joke, like when I first started uh, dating uh, Jackie, like within the first couple of days, I was like, oh, I see you have two kids. That's great, blah, blah. I'm down for it, whatever. Damn. Do you want more kids? Wow. I was like, because if you don't want more kids, then, you know, it's like, over. like, I mean, yeah. Like, I was just very upfront with her. I was like, I want kids. How, how soon? How soon did you tell her that? Like, probably 
we weren't even like a full week into our relationship. God oh, damn. You, you, don't think that, you don't think that's crazy? Or no, no. <laughs> you guys, what, Definitely like, not. So did you guys talk a bit and then you asked you for me to go for the girlfriend? Like, that like, like I'll, I'll tell you the romantic story about how me and Jackie came to be. <laughs> you don't think like, that's fucking insane? <laughs> Um, me and Jackie. Yeah, you're just like having a nice romantic dinner over <laughs> over for lunch or something. Like, hey, I want fucking kids, all right? <laughs> um, I'll pop this for loco. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me a give me a little bit here. Yeah, now let me get a little bit too. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in the shot Can we can so. we get the the solo cups to the in the break room? Talk about that. But but huh? no, the fed no. No, so talk about that fed from the. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We saw a fed today, brother. So we went to get these four locos from the four local factory because we're sponsored. And uh, there was an undercover police officer there. Um, yeah, there's a guy in front of him buying Rellos. And this dude literally like asked him, he was like, oh, Rellos, are you using those like, for weed? And um, I don't know, you were there. I wasn't even there. When I <laughs> and then he just, Thank was, you, he just kept asking. He's like, I'm like, oh, you're doing weed stuff or whatever? Like, he's like, oh, no, I'm just... Doing some rellos or whatever, then it's like, um, but just in the most oppy way so ever. My bro, and, and the thing is, he looked like a cop. He had like a like a skin mid fade, bro. He had like sunglasses on a "Do Not Tread on Me" T shirt. Like Jesus, it, it, was, it was a police officer. Dog. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. So, but um, you were here downing four locos and tequila shots with no food. Oh, I'm just, it's a little bit, man. I just, <laughs> you know, man. Come on, man. It's work. It's work. It's work. Why don't we just okay? Uh, so, uh, Guys, he's married. Stop. So, I'm sorry, man. All right, so... Uh, grand so, opening. Grand opening. Can yes. we please, for the love of God, let's talk about the grand opening. All right. Uh, first of all, we actually opened up on May 22nd of this year. I decided to do a soft launch. Oh. Just get the business rolling, you know, finally... Because I, I feel like it's definitely one of those situations where, like, you don't know what you need until you're actually, like, I'm going to take this shot. Because I just saw it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, soft launch, like, is it... Is it, like... How soft? Yeah, like, like everybody, everybody just in there soft like, as hell? Or like, like, <laughs> soft, or like what are they doing? Nah, soft or launch what? just means that I didn't do a lot of advertisement for it. Like, uh, it was just more like I opened the doors to the business and, like, just saw what kind of traffic I got with, without actually doing much advertisement for it. I did, like, a much... Most of the advertisement I did, I did through, like, Instagram, just post, you know, just letting people know I was there. I got, like, a really big, actually, like, reaction to it in the beginning because, you know, I've been cutting here for about seven years, and I've actually been told a lot of times, hey, you should open up. So I was, I was actually pretty happy to finally be able to do that, you know, for my family more than anything, but definitely, like... You know, just live out like a dream, really. But yeah, I'm finally doing the grand opening on August 6th. You know, definitely I'm inviting everybody in the community to come everybody. out. Everybody. You know, we're Everybody's we're welcome. we're doing we're doing uh free haircuts that day. Cool. Like, oh. but we're actually we're actually doing completely free haircuts. What? Men But is there like a limit? Uh no. Like no we're, limit. we're gonna be open from nine to four as long as you're you get in the door before four o'clock, you're gonna get a haircut that day, as long as you're willing to wait. Uh, we're going to be giving out pizza, some snacks, and some drinks while you're waiting. And, you know, have some music playing, you know. And hopefully you guys just come by and uh, have a really good time, you know. Like, this has really been a labor of love. Like, I, like you know, like, I, I can't say this with, with the most humbleness in my heart. Like, I really love the haircutting industry. Like, I've never had a really another job that I've actually wanted, at least. And, like, you know, like, this is really, like, kind of, like, my my thank you to the community that's that's helped provide for my family, help provide for, you know, like the families of the of the people that that work with me, you know, and the people that I've known for so many years and be able to give something back to them. It's actually sketch I actually try to line it up perfectly with the back to school here in Dalton. Mm. So like definitely bring by your kids, let them get haircuts. That's amazing. Took a yeah. nice, nice wholesome turn from the crazy shit we were talking about. <laughs> oh, dude. That is that is amazing. The, crazy yeah. enough, that's what four logos actually <laughs> yeah, that, that is why four logos bring families yeah. together. Yeah. Tequila, tequila made the yeah. conversation a little hot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. before four logos actually simmered it back down. So I guess uh I little... think you guys are the first people to ever say fa- <laughs> four logos bring families together. Oh, no. You you were because looking. the amount can we just can we get like a shot of like a Dominic Toretto with a four loco? <laughs> I mean, that's what the that's what the F is for on four loco. Yeah. Family, family, family. Yes. Yeah. Families and not four. <laughs> on no, that's it. That, I try to do <laughs> families, four. just families. Yes, so, four, four loco. Miss Angie, uh, I guess a little bit just personally about you. How long have you been cutting hair? So I've been cutting hair since 2019. That's when I first started. Um... 
I've kind of always been kind of in the in the industry of cutting hair. Like uh, I've learned how to do like nails since I was like 13, 14, 15, probably ish. Uh, I started doing my own hair when I was a teen. It looks beautiful. Oh, thank Thanks, you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I started cutting like my cousins, like my friends. And when I moved here to Dalton, that's when I kind of learned how to like moved do here from men's where? hair. Uh, from Mexico. Oh, oh so. Yes. Donde Mexico? Donde Mexico? <laughs> eh, Michoacán. 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 And shout out to Nayarit. My dad is from Nayarit. Shout out. Where? Nayarit. Nayarit. Escasamente poblado. I ain't it's that Mexican small, for small it, I guess. There's, there's yes. a whole ass like Marisco's place called. You know Guadalajara? Yeah. Uh, like about three hours from oh, okay, Guadalajara. Okay. Oh, and God. I was living in Juarez. That's long as fuck, You're living in Juarez? Yes, I lived there for about like That's crazy three hell. years probably in Juarez. Bro, that ain't the hood out there. Yes. Using Guadalajara as a landmark when it's three hours away is kind of crazy, bro. I mean, that's like me saying not, I'm from New York. You know where Philadelphia is? Shit. <laughs> 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 I'm so No, that's literally all from Dalton. You know where Nashville is? <laughs> yeah. Three hours away yeah. from there. But literally. A lot of, it's, it's easier to say, you know, where Nashville is. Like, it's yeah. more, like, known. You want to say Atlanta? No, but but some, some people say Atlanta. Like, for us. No, I don't they, say Atlanta. They, 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 I say Atlanta. Yeah, but we're not talking about, we're talking about this place in Mexico. That's that's the whole point. Yeah. Right. Yes, actually, make. in a magazine, in, that's why I said Escasamente Poblado. There was this magazine that, like, Titled Nayarit as un, un lugar escasamente poblado, like very small. Like, mm, what's casamente poblado? Oh man, how much time? Almost, you got? almost yeah. a, like almost a town. Yes, okay. I mean it's a really small state. It's even smaller than probably oh. here, Georgia. Mm. I mean the no, city, Georgia's like the capital, <laughs> might be probably as big as Dalton, the capital. Oh, no, Dalton's yes. big as hell too. Though. Um, <laughs> So, and then cutting hair. And then, so how did this work out? Wherever now you started working here at the VIP Dominican Barbershop, this big man, Jordy, right here. <laughs> oh, right here. So I met Jordy at Oliver's. I started working at Oliver's probably like two, two and a half years ago. That's where I met him. Like, Oh, and he snatched you up. He's like, yo, come on, yo, I'm going to start this thing. I'm out. <laughs> They're in the break room like, no, hey, I got, I got like, one big steal we can do right now. It's like, one last job. <laughs> one last job and we're out of the game forever. He's just, wait, he's just waiting for her to have like a bad day. He's just like... That's no, crazy. I'm going to do a shot. By the way, like, I, you know, I saw... I never knew you like that. I saw how, homie, honestly, I think it was cool that you showed up late. Like, I don't think... I'm just saying, like... Yo, I, he tripping, dog. Honestly, like, honestly uh, you didn't even fuck that new shit up that bad. If it was, like, if it was me... Like, like, what the fuck we have out here? You know, like, balanced beans? Why the fuck that shit got to be perfectly yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But, hey, you know, I'm starting this thing. <laughs> you know? Hey, so, I was... You know, I, was I need barbers, you know? There you go. <laughs> so, I was snatching people up like I was freaking... What's the... What what was the guy that started oh, Apple? The, the local Steve kid Jobs? Uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, Jesus Christ. John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. Is that the fucking clown John guy? Clown. Is that the fucking clown guy? Yo, have you ever seen that shit? No, that shit no, is fucking have you seen, have you seen that? Uh, I forget the name of it. The new movie that was based on him, but they didn't want to like it? say it was based on him. Bro, that shit was fucking uh, It's insane. a black phone. They talk about it, dude. Uh, no, I don't think it's kind of black phone. But no, that shit was fucking insane. They found crazy amount of corpses in his fucking yeah, yeah. and not even in the basement bro like in the trenches uh, under his fucking property line altogether. I think I think it's called Black Phone I is think it, it's, it's a newer movie that oh, came out yes, last year oh yes 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 I saw that one and I saw like, that it's, one it's based about him but they didn't want to say it was yeah, based but about like, him yeah but like that was fucking crazy bro like yeah. I watched that fucking movie and I I felt like I was fucking on acid no I never did acid I, so, I, but, I, but this, you know yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah. I was just before on some we, other shit before we get carried away man. hold on let me get a little bit more for Loco I get a fucking a heart attack so Okay, so how did it how did it work with um you going into uh, started working with Jordy? Okay, so like Jordy, he he has a long journey, and he's a really. And that's like, not the only long journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He has a long track record of being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the Dominican clock. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he really I admire him like I admire his work um, he's a really good person so I felt like it was like a really good like opportunity to like grow as a barber like learn from him and like I mean I believe that like if you want to like if you admire someone and you want to be like them in the future like you should surround like uh, with people you want to be like yes absolutely 100% yes. 
So yes, I mean, I took the chance. I talked to him. I'm like, yo, do you need barbers? And also, you approached him. I did. Okay. I did. Um, and he's like, you know, if you're serious, we can talk about it. We talked about it. We agreed on it. And I'm part of his team now. So what made yeah. you agree? What made you be like, oh, what did you see in her that you were like, I want her You didn't team. see in me that you didn't hire me. You didn't come up to me with <laughs> a job. Know, aside, aside from being why so many dudes in here. You know, you know, um, crazy enough, like she, the way she mentioned it to me in, um, in conversation, it was like in a way where I didn't even get it right away. Like, you know, like she, like she mentioned it to me because I passed by the shop. I was trying to get a haircut because I forgot what day was the next day, but it was like kind of like a, I think it was around Memorial Day or something like that. I don't remember. That's not the point. The point is I passed by the shop. I needed a haircut. Nobody was really available. And, and she just approached me. She was like, hey. Um, this is after you opened your shop? Yeah, it was after. Uh, they make a big deal. Oh, look who's back now. Oh, wow. Why is there yeah. yeah. a Everybody always do with that. I don't know, bro. You make everybody a slut. Because everybody, everybody is a slut, bro. Everybody's just rolling their eyes back. They always come. They always come back. They always come back. And look who needs a little shot from Rush now. <laughs> who needs a little haircut? Who needs a little haircut? Go, sit down. I got you. <laughs> You start, you start like, you know what? I'm fucking leaving. I'm fucking, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> what if, like, Screw they, you guys. What if they fuck your hair up like intentionally? Like, oh, what about Yo, this? That'd be fucking crazy because, you know, like I, I worked wild. there for seven years and never swung on anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and you could have, and you could have, and you could have. And I could have, <laughs> and, and, and that'd probably be the day that I did, crazy enough. Like, I, I put a motherfucker through the mirror for that shit. Uh, but that's but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> God damn, that's why you don't drink four logos, bro. <laughs> Family. Family. Like, Family. 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 <laughs> The F is for family, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got, a, I got half a cup over here, brother. Anyway, but the I'm point is the that, devil. but like, let's I'm not get devil. too far away. Um, she, uh, she actually just told me something about playing about all that she was thinking about Why passing you, by to the table. Pause, pause. pause. <laughs> well, 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 whenever you went, to you your haircut. Right? Sorry, yeah. Like, just, I mean, I, mean, I didn't walk in like, hey, who could cut my hair? No, 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 no. I was well, yeah. just like, I kind of caught the vibe. I was trying to go home, so I didn't even ask. Right, right. But she, but she walked up. She's like, oh, like it's crazy. You come by. I was thinking about passing by there. And I was like, oh, what's up? She was like, oh, I just wanted to see if you needed some help. You know, if you need some help, I'm willing to help. And I was like, okay, well, it's nice, you know. But I didn't think twice right, about not, it. Not just, like anything Yeah, you know, yeah, I just yeah. kept, I just I just went about my day. Just I, someone I being nice. Yeah, whatever. exactly. And then, like, I think it was like a couple hours later. I was like, I think she was low-key asking if she could work over there. And that, that's when I was like, hey, like, I texted her. I was like, hey, like. Like I'm not sure if like if that's what you were asking me, but or if, if you just need or you were like yeah, just yeah, if I, I hope you move yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like I need I need my long cut too. Yeah, like, yeah, I need, I need my, like I, I Mr. Mr. Miyagi hair. Yeah, I, I, fucking wax on, wax off. You feel me? Yeah, but but I told her I was like, well, like if you, I was like, if you're serious about what you're asking me, I was like, we could definitely talk. I was like, I'm like I definitely do need some help. I was like, you know, like I like I just you know. Like, and like I told her, I was like, I worked with her for years. I know her work. You know, I definitely know that that she'd be like a very good part of the team. So I was like, let's do it. We talked about it, talked over a few things and, you know, and we came to an agreement and she yeah. was there at the shop, I think maybe like two weeks later or so. Yeah. Welcome to the yeah. team, man. Welcome yeah. to the team. Welcome to the team. VIP Dominican Barbershop. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to do one of these real quick for the team. Hey. hey. Nice right here. Who all, how many barbers you have working with you right now? Right Ooh. now, we actually have four barbers working four. there. You need which, a... which was your least favorite? <laughs> <laughs> which was my least favorite? It definitely has to be Angie, because if I mentioned any of the other guys... That'd be crazy. Like, it'd be crazy. Yeah. Like, I could tell, I could say Angie. She's the one that's here. <laughs> she you can know? defend herself. She's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 fuck this guy. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, like, no, but honestly, like, I can't complain about any of the guys. They're, they're they, awesome. You know, like... They do what they can, and that's all I could really ask for. You know, like, I, I tell them all the time, like, you know, I'm not doing you any favors by giving you a job here. Like, you guys are definitely doing me a favor wow. by working here because I could have the building, I could have the chairs, the stages, the mirrors, I could have everything. But if you guys aren't there actually, you know, like, showing up to work and taking care of the people that are coming in, like, I don't have a business, and you then, know? And even if it's just you, you can only cut so much. You can only I do could, so many I, haircuts. I'm only physically able to cut so many then, people so, at the same time, yes. And then them doing a good job, they keep like, yo, no, exactly. home did a good job. They bring the clientele like, back. Like, definitely, like, when people walk in, like, there's a lot of times people walk in, they'll ask for me, and I'm, I'm like, just like, hey, busy, like, I'm booked for the day, but... Any of, any of the other guys. Any of them will take care of you just as well. 
So would you rather hire somebody that has like amazing talent and cutting hair, but a shitty attitude? Or like somebody like has, I'll, I'll cut you right there. No. No. No? Hell so no. then you'd rather all right. So say like Vic Blends, right? Vic Blends, right. But with shitty attitude. But then you got somebody who barely just started cutting hair yesterday. Like, great attitude, super super nice guy. The thing day. is that, like, I remember I, I was actually doing the <laughs> job interviews, like, because I, I interviewed a lot of the guys before I opened up. So by the time I opened, I had a couple barbers already lined up to start working. And one of the things that I told the guys was, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but one of the Bam. one of the thing I I told the guys was, I like if you need help developing your skill level, it's gonna happen. You know, because you're just around other barbers that know what they're doing. And, like, you naturally just pick it up just being around in that environment. I was like, but I can't teach you having a good work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, having a good work ethic is something that you that has to live inside of you. Like, if you, it's either you want it or you don't. And when it comes to barbering, even though you're renting a booth there at the shop, that's your business in the essence. So, if you're not going hard for yourself... <laughs> If you're not going hard for yourself, I, mean, I, I, I was gonna say, I, was gonna say I, just, anything. I just can't help it, but you know, but if you're not going oh, hard for yourself, that like was, you know, dude, that like, was a touchy moment. Like, yeah, you know, it, was, it, was, it, was, but, it was very motivational. Like, sorry, but you know, but if you're not going hard for yourself, don't like, keep no, saying no, that. Dude. I don't want to hear. I keep now. I'm thinking about it. Like, like, yeah, yeah, that you, like, you, you killed it. Yeah, you killed it. If you're not going hard for yourself, if you're not going hard for yourself, if you're not going hard for, if you're not as fucking hard as you. <laughs> if you're not harder than goddamn <laughs> the rock, if you're not harder cold. than these fucking state exams, yeah. man. Like, like you know, not nah, but for real. Like, if you're not, if you're not going in, like you're not gonna do it. You're it's not, you're not gonna survive. I don't care what you do. Like, you had to put the work in. Absolutely. Like, like you know, I remember being a rookie barber, new, especially here at Adult, and like, cause I moved here, zero clients, and I literally had to get it out the mud. I was sometimes at the shop Trenches. days at a time and had zero cuts, zero clients, Damn. zero money, basically. But I was still there. And like, even if I only cut one, two people that day, I was making sure that that haircut was the freshest one that I could give them and making Ooh. sure that they were coming back. Y'all got to make up with this new dude. Some, some, I don't know, some big dude named Jordy or something like that. But he yeah. chopped my shit up good. And next thing you know, yeah. he's coming back. He tells somebody else. Exactly. He brings his cousin, brother, that, mother, that, that daughter. That word of mouth, it goes a long way. And daughter? like, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> daughter? I don't know. Yo, hey, baby girl, sit right here. This is the best bubber in town. <laughs> you guys can have face. That's some girl shape up like the side of their head. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I was going to say I've done girls before, but you know. I've done girls before. Thing. I'm starting to think you're just a slut here, man. You're saying everybody's no, a slut. I no, think it's, it's just a, you. It's a, the thing is that being Dominican, being from New York, and it's just automatic. It's just, and a barber. And it's all those in the oh, windows. Like, can, I catch them way too hard. And can dance, dude. We saw you dancing uh, at a... Uh, at the party that we went to like a uh, couple months back, I oh, used to that state party, huh? I, think I wasn't there. I was you're, at home. You're talking about TV. my. You're talking about my my cousins are thirtieth. Yes, yeah, yeah, our cousins, yeah. our cousins, yes, our cousins. cousins. I Bro, forgot. You're getting down, dude. Yeah, thank you, dude. I was. I don't. I don't remember. Like, <laughs> I might have. Dirty Dan, does he be cutting? And then he'll like. Oh. There's pasito prohibido there. Oh. Yeah. Jordi be dancing. Diamonds be dancing <laughs> too. <laughs> Tell them, Calvin, go ahead. Brr, nah, mom and bicho puñeta. That's a good one. That's a good one. No, no, no. Hey, you know, hey, you know the good. official chain so statues here. How, how has it been since it opened? How, how much time we got? Where we at? Uh, five, five or four. <laughs> yeah, what's um, yo, what's uh, what's something at uh, so many barbershops here in the Dolan area? What makes your barbershop different? Honestly, I feel like what, what I'm bringing to the table is honestly like, that Dominican vibe that you guys have grown to love with the Dominican barbershops here in town. But definitely I'm bringing my own twist to it. I'm bringing my Miami vibe to it. I'm bringing like my years of experience. I'm, I'm definitely bringing a group of people that that. that love to cut no, hair. Because that's my bottom line. <laughs> like you had to be passionate about it to work there with yes. me. Because if you're not passionate about it, I honestly just rather not have you there at all. Mm. Because like it's... You know, like, it's just about, you know, like, really loving what you're doing. Like, I see too many people taking the haircutting as, uh, as a route out of the... Chop them up, Kel. <laughs> Chop them up. I, I, see, I see too many people t using this haircutting as a route out of the factories, yeah. as a route, like, you're out doing of... doing it because we out love of, it. Out of, exactly, <laughs> like... Quick, quick. Exactly. <laughs> you have quick to get rich scheme. Who exactly, is we? That, guy cut, that guy's cutting hair? I do, I do, I do haircuts now, yes. <laughs> no, no, you, be fading, you be fading everybody up on here, man. Oh, yeah, man, you chop your shit up right now. Yeah. 
having an identity crisis, brother. <laughs> no, I, I believe it, Don. I, I think that he could do Man, some pretty just, tight I remember fades. there's times I literally think his I'm going through. His eyebrow slash goes through his actual haircut. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> there's times where um, I think I'm like depressed. Then I get a haircut. I'm like, no, I'm good. I was just, I just needed a haircut. <laughs> I, was I was a little ugly. ugly. I was just a little I was ugly. A little ugly that would say the, the confidence a haircut gives you is, is oh, different. God, bro, bro. I mean, I'm going to like TJ Maxx and you, Ulta just you looking today, around. You today, dude. Oh, you. thank you. No, bro, I, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, my man's had the clippers in his hand. I'm pretty sure this is gonna go. Oh no, hell yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this is gonna go far though. I'm sorry, guys. I was trying to use it as a prop, but my man had the clippers in his hand. I'll clean this up later. I'm sorry. <laughs> he had the clippers in his hand. He was ready to cut my hair today, right? He goes, and then he just starts looking at himself in the mirror. Right? <laughs> He's like, wait, hold up. He's just, it, yo, that ass. This nigga says. Now I don't even know about what to cut your hair. <laughs> I'd rather look at myself right now. I actually did say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, but I don't get haircuts so often, so you know. Now you're good, but we got nah, much time yeah, left. Wait, 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 yeah, wait, 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 wait. No, man, clean it with the hundreds. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that. No. Um, they don't ball like that. Welcome to the Stanley Only Boys with your host, Kelvin Almonte. Oh, dude, you're a great yeah. host. You're an announcer voice. Save that, save you guys that, can save use that, it, but you gotta pay that, me for it. <sighs> oh, okay. How much? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> why are you flirting with me? Stop flirting with me. Why are you Shoot me a little honey on that. You're not going to keep it. Um, fuck. Now I forgot what we were saying, dude. Oh, makes your barbershop unique. <laughs> That yeah. definitely um, yeah, no, how no. a haircut can cure depression, and I really definitely, do. Definitely. It can one hundred percent. I get a haircut. Next thing you know, I'm going through like TJ Maxx, looking lost, or I'm like going through. <laughs> I'm going through Ulta, like I'm fucking looking at something. You're you know running errands, I mean? running errands, bro. I'm looking at plants and Wait, shit. You're, uh, you're hey, running plants, other people's errands. Plants give life, bro. Oh, plants God, give life. Dude. They're they're fire. Bro, we were just talking about it, bro. Yes, yes, yes. I gotta yes. actually go. I gotta go take my plant. I gotta bring it back inside. Left oh, yeah, out in the sun today. Oh, you gotta take it for a walk. Yeah, dude, don't be dumb. They don't walk, dude. They're plants. So, so what uh what what kind of services do you provide at VIP okay, Dominican um, Barbershop? We do haircuts, haircut with beard, kid haircuts, line up, line kid up. Kid haircuts with beard. with beard or no? Uh kid haircuts <laughs> with beard sometimes. <laughs> if they have a beard, fuck it. Yeah. You know, but it's more than a regular haircut with beard. <laughs> <laughs> you walk in with this kid with a whole ass beard. I'm like, oh, I don't believe this shit. shit. <laughs> I don't believe that shit. Nah, I'm playing, but we do haircuts, no haircuts with beard, kid cuts. Uh, we do hot towel services. We do enhancements. You know, like, we we try to just accommodate anything that you really need as you walk in. And if we can't accommodate you for whatever reason, just because maybe we don't deal with the exact thing that you want, because... Like, as far as I know, nobody on my team as of right now dies here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like... But they die for this shit, dog. But they'll die for this yeah. shit. <laughs> I saw me. you got a little... You got a <laughs> hair, hair washing station in there now? Yes, yeah, so, uh... You know, it isn't plugged up just yet. You know, I'm still working on getting the plumbing soon. running to it. But yes, we're definitely going to start including like the hair washing with the with the haircut, especially like if you come in with a lot of gel in your hair, maybe like you have enhancements that were still setting in there from the last time you got a haircut. Lice. Like mm. lice. Yeah, <laughs> lice. You got your hair washed the other day. How was that? Oh, it was great, bro. I loved it. It's different. Bro, it's it's very, different. Very, it almost, I felt like I was kind of like, I don't know. I was kind of on edge because I was a little too relaxed. You know, I didn't like it. I was kind of like, what the fuck's going to happen? Um, but that's, I think that's just the PTSD Eek was doing in me. Because yeah. Eek was doing yeah, it. No, Eek, Eek did it, but then um, the homegirl Eileen, shout out to Eileen, man, that's how it's just... Wait, Eek washed your hair? <laughs> yeah, I washed little, his hair too. I have a little oh, clip of it somewhere. That's a little sexual. Is there, it? Yeah. Eek? Both of y'all. Washing each other's um, hair? Um... Yeah, it was kind of weird. I didn't know exactly what to do. But anyways, <laughs> please, this isn't about me, dude. Angie, he, said, he said like a girl at one night stand. This is my first time. <laughs> Angie, I want you to look at this camera, that camera, whichever camera, and you tell them why they should get your hair cut by you, why they should see you at the VIP uh, Dominican yes. Barbershop. Well, come see us. I mean, it's just a vibe. Like, all, all of us, we love cutting hair. I mean, it's not just the service of cutting hair that we're going to give you. I mean, it's we're going to do it with passion. It's something we like to do. Not not just the job, you know? It's more than that. So come see us. Beautiful. Jordy? And you guys already know, like, come by, check out the team. We'll all take care of you, you know. But definitely come by August 6th. August 6th. August 6th. We're doing the grand opening. That's a reason. It's 908 South Thorne, Suite 3. 
What? Say it one more time. Sorry. Okay. Kellen was yelling. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't hear All right. Anything. Come by August 6th, the grand opening, 908 South Thornton, Suite 3, Dalton, Georgia, 30720. Boneta. Yes. Free haircuts for everybody. Bring your family. Bring the dog. Bring whoever you want. Bring your neighbor's kid that hasn't got a haircut all summer. Pull up. That one's off. Get one's this hair cut ding, done ding. because because honestly we're here to serve you and we're more than happy to have you thank you are we gonna freeze ladies and gentlemen it's time for the moment you guys all been waiting for <laughs> it's time to drop some bars here on the sob podcast we got angie in the building we got jordy in the building Oh, actually, let me get uh, let me get my, my boy Jordy put them headphones on real quick. He can't hear what I'm what I'm doing right now. Are you doing the? the oh no, the, we, but you about to drop some bars on here, bro. Oh, no, so I mean, I, are y'all both dropping bars? No, all four of us are dropping bars. We're gonna go bars. Yeah. Bar, 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 bar. Ladies and gentlemen, balls are you want to say here? I ain't got no bars. <laughs> Welcome back to SOB Bars. We got Jordy in the building. I need one more shot before I do this. <laughs> Right, I'm out Drake. here like Wheezy. Oh, right. take a shot, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Take a shot for me. As soon as you take the shot, I'm dropping the beat. Hey, yo. Let me get that beat. Okay. Oh, shout out All to right. Surge for the beat. We out here. Yeah. This is too oh, hard for me. We too I don't hard. Want it. I don't want it. Oh, we don't want hard. it. But I'm gonna do it. We just here, can't hear, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Freeze. Fades. Razor. Lines. You already know I got the time. Book on my profile. You already know. Click the link. Book now. Haircut. Beard. Enhancements. And I'll do it all. Hot towels for the dolls. Ah. I'm in this bitch now. Ah. For local excess for family, I need this bitch like Tamale. I don't know who that bitch really be. All right, Calvin. Oh, uh, go God ahead. damn! Episode twenty four. You know we open the doors. You know we up in his heart. We know we up in your heart. You know how we doing, dog? Oh my God, I didn't have this shit at all prepared. <laughs> but I'm on this bitch. I'm yelling woo like I'm Ric Flair. Hold woo. up. Wait a minute. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's what? Right. Uh. 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 Yeah. Uh. That, is, that is the music style of the Stanley Only Bush podcast. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my yeah. God. Fuck. Uh. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. It wasn't finished. Uh. Uh. Fuck. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me catch this beat. This beat is so quick. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Yo, 